Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to my super cool house home tutorial. It's a really easy house to build. It's got a really awesome exterior, I'd say, and that is that has bothered me a lot. Believe me, it bothers me too. Let's fix that. I messed that up with the tutorial. But yeah, it's a really easy build to do. It's got an upstairs floor. It's got a really cool exterior with some nice little sugarcane grow areas. And I don't know, I really like this interior. It's super compact, obviously, because it's a pretty tiny home, but it really makes use of all the space. And I show you how to build it block by block, step by step. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so to build your super simple home, you're gonna need to find the materials found in my hot bar below. And you're gonna wanna start off by placing just these quartz pillar blocks, just four blocks high. And then this one's gonna have a four block space right there. This one's gonna have a one, two, three, four, five, six block space in between. And then you just wanna repeat the same four block space and you're gonna end up with a little outline like this. You wanna then fill in all of these with the lime terracotta. Again, it really doesn't matter as far as color choice goes. It's all gonna be down to personal preference, but I think the lime really just adds a little bit of flair to your build. And you don't see a lot of lime houses, which is cool. And I think that's kinda of nice. It looks more like an avocado to me, but you know, who am I to say the color of these blocks? I mean, they did name it. And it is lime. I guess if it's like clay and you like mix brown and lime, it's going to turn out a little bit muddy like this. But I don't know. I don't know. But that's going to be your walls just like that. So you want to just build that. All right. So now from this point, what you want to do is just take some spruce stairs and line up both sides of the build just like this. You do want to extend one off from the edge. So I need to go ahead and just do that on all four sides of the two sides of the roof just like this. That's just gonna make it look like it has a little bit more depth and that's definitely a necessary step. And it's gonna look good from the side as well. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead on both sides and just repeat the same thing, just like this. Oh, there, oh, there we go, perfect. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna have to place something like that just to get up one higher and then the same thing on this side. And then in the center here, we're gonna meet and we're just gonna meet with just two slabs just like that. We're not gonna go ahead and go up two more stairs so just basically finish out this pretty simple to do all right there we go so again just continue the same sort of pattern I showed you guys and you're gonna look at it from this side and it is gonna look a little bit weird yes but we're gonna want to fill in all these lime terracotta blocks just like this and you want to do that on both sides now we'll start out with this side and we'll make it look a little bit prettier as far as the roof goes so place some upside down stairs everywhere under the stairs that you pretty much can just like that and it's really just gonna make your roof look a whole heck of a lot better, in my opinion at least. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, awesome, we got the roof. Now I'm thinking something that could make this build just look a lot better, I think, is just putting a layer of stone brick on the bottom floor just right here. I really think that's just gonna add a little bit more texture to the outside. Again, there's not that much depth. It is a really tiny build, so it's not gonna have like a bunch of layers here and there. But I think that looks pretty cool. And as far as that goes, I think we're gonna need some sort of, not, not necessarily like a, like a fireplace, but more like a furnace with just a little exhaust heat right here. I don't really know what you'd call it. And then I would just put a slab on top, just the original Minecraft stone slab. And it should be pretty good as far as that goes. You could go ahead and add some uh, cobwebs just like this. Let's say the wind is blowing uh, this way like that. So you just take your cobwebs and just sort of place them out like this and that'll sort of give the illusion of some smoke and that's pretty cool. If you don't have cobwebs, of course, you don't have to do that. That's completely optional, but that is something that I think would be cool. And then under it, we'll go ahead and just put two furnaces and then we'll just put those right there just to make it look more official. We'll need to grab some stairs though that are made of that same material, stone brick, just like that and then place those on either side. And you should have something akin to a furnace. All right, cool. Um, let's get more to the exterior. So let's grab a door right here and just figure out something. So I'd say that material under the door is gonna need to be the same. Place it from the inside, of course. Awesome. Now in front of the door here, we're just gonna place just some blocks just like that, just to make it feel more like an entryway. And that'll make it just feel a lot better. I don't know, feel a lot better, but it'll look a lot better. Maybe not feel, but you know, sometimes I don't use the right words. All right, now on the front of the build, we're just gonna put two fences just like this. Then we're gonna take some of these stair blocks and put them the right way, like that, hopefully. And then just put them one out, just like that. And that's all that's gonna do is just sort of outline your doorway and make it look a little bit more open. We're gonna break these blocks right here. We're gonna take some glass, just hopefully some glass panes. And we're just gonna put those right there. Come to the inside. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put a two window right there and then a two window right there. And then it looks like mm, maybe just a little four window just like that. I think that should look pretty good. There's not really room in here for an attic. 
I mean, you could build it on this block, I guess. But, I don't know, that would, things would get a little weird in here. If it was, I guess if it was built on that block. Hmm, let me think. Yeah, I'm thinking for space sake, that's going to be the best idea. It's going to make this first floor feel a little uh, smaller than it should. But it's going to make the build look a lot bigger. I mean, not look a lot bigger. It's going to make the build a lot bigger. It's not going to look bigger. It's actually going to feel bigger, which is nice. So, we're going to come in here. Um, I say for our floor material, we're just going to do cobblestone. And then, of course, the floor material up there is going to be whatever that block is. Whatever you chose to use your floor as. I think those blocks will do perfectly, honestly. I'm going to take some ladders now. And in the corner, I'm going to build a way to get up and down. So, I'm saying... I think right there would be a good place for a ladder since it's kind of in the corner. Alright, perfect. Let me grab some materials to decorate the inside of this. I am thinking there is a second floor up here, so we might as well just have a window just somewhere like up there. And then we should probably repeat the same thing over here. I was just thinking that because it looked a little odd from the outside, seeing that there was nothing over there. But uh, that looks pretty good to me. I'm thinking on the exterior here, if we want to make things look a little bit better, I bet we could add some little uh, planters like this with just some wooden uh, trap doors just like that. And then you can take some blue orchids and you can just put them right there. And that can just add a little bit of flair to the outside of your build. Again, not completely necessary, but it's something you can do. Um, another thing you can do is like you can add like this, like water. And you can add it to like every block that's under the uh, house just like that. And you'll never know. But you will know because you have a bunch of sugar cane growing right here. And uh, you can just trap door it up just like this. And hopefully if you can place them right, you can get them like that. And eventually when they grow, it actually looks pretty cool. It turns into like, I don't know, just something like, I don't know. It just looks like a little like sugar cane grow thing. I don't know. I, I like the way those look personally, but... You know, again, it's all up to whatever you think looks good. It's really your build. So don't listen to my thoughts. If you don't like the way something looks, just change it. Please do. That's the reason I do these, mainly for inspiration. I mean, I'm sure there's a few of you who copy the build block for block, but I'm sure a good bit of you just watch it for inspiration, and that's perfectly okay. And then something like that can also add a little bit to the outside. I'm going to take a torch just so that it's not completely dark out here, and I'm just going to place a torch right there. That should be good. All right, now back to the inside. I was thinking a chest right here and then a crafting table and then atop that crafting table, let me grab a pot. And then we can just place a pot right there and that should look, well, it should look good, but it does look good. So I hope it looks good. Let's grab a bed and just to sort of fit with that lime. Does that fit well? Oh yeah, that's cool, awesome. So let's come up here and we can just do some double beds, just pretending that uh, there's two people to sleep in a bed there. You can fill in these with bookcases just like that. And I think that actually looks pretty cool. Let's take some torches here and just sort of light up the area above the beds and then over here. And that'll just give a lot better uh, feel. And that runs up there. Perfect. I'm um, thinking about torches down in here. Maybe something just like that should be perfect. Let me think of some more things down here. So I actually came back upstairs. I'm thinking some double chests right there as well as some more double chests right there. And then probably some more double chests right there. Now you can take trap doors if you'd like and make this look a little bit more fancy. So on the outside, well on these you can't. You kind of can right here, but you really shouldn't be over there I don't think. But I don't know, I think that makes them look a lot cleaner and a lot better. And this is a pretty good bedroom. We're trying to be space efficient in here so we're not going for anything too fancy. And uh, if you're building a build this small, I really don't think you have access to these things yet. But just for time's sake, I'm just going to put them here. So for instance, like an ender chest, you might have that, or you might not, I really don't know. But both those things will fit up here just perfectly, and both will work and open, because that's just how Minecraft works. And those look pretty cool, so I think this is a pretty good upstairs area. I can't really think of anything else we'd need. We, we don't really need what I'm about to do, but I mean, you know me, I like to build these, so I guess we'll go ahead and do it. Uh, so we're going to put two glowstone up here, we're going to do some trap doors, we're going to take some soul sand. And we're just going to place that down below. It is going to make it a little bit cramped up here. But at the same time, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because if, it, if it's a compact build, it's not going to like detract from the quality. And you can put that right there. As well as you can take a stair. It really doesn't matter because you can't see it. So actually, you could take any block that's spruce. And we could just put a brewing stand back in here. Uh, perfect. And then you should be able to access it. Yeah. And then a cauldron. I'm trying to think of a place for a cauldron. I really don't know. Maybe down here. Maybe we could put a cauldron with some water in it or something like that. I, I know that would be able to work 
I mean, but does it look good? Hmm, I'd say so. I'm also thinking when I'm up here, there's no crafting tables, so might as well just put those right there. And they honestly, to me, they look pretty good. I like the way crafting tables look. So we do have a crafting table, we do have a chest down here, so I'm thinking really the only thing that's left is going to be something that's more aesthetic. And of course, we should grab some spruce stairs here. We're just going to put a little table right there. We're going to break that, we're going to take an armor stand, and we're just going to fill it up nicely. I really like the way armor stands look. Let me fill that up real quick. There we go, perfect. And then right here, I think I'm just going to do a creeper head and then some sort of pot with a sapling. And that's going to conclude this build. I think it looks pretty awesome. Let's take some carpet and just in the same sort of green fashion do just some green carpet just like this and just sort of spread it around randomly. You may be able to get a little bit up here, just something like that. Again, you don't want it to be too consistent. You just kind of want it to be random and I think that makes it look really good. But uh, yeah, I think that should be perfect just like that. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more like this and more, be sure to click that subscribe button. You'll get notified when I upload. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to leave a like, that would really help my channel out, and I'd really appreciate it if you did. If you guys don't want to leave a like, you really, again, don't have to. It's not something I require you to do at all. But I do ask that if you did enjoy the video to maybe leave a like. And uh, if we could get like 500 likes in this cute little house, I would really appreciate it. I really like the way they built this build turned out. I think it's pretty awesome. So uh, leave a like for it if you did like it. And uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see anything specific I can build. And uh, hopefully I can build it for you and you get an awesome tutorial and I get an awesome video out of it. So it's a win-win. But uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys a final time for watching. If you're curious about shader pack, texture pack, any of that fancy stuff is going to be all in the description below. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.